What is up everyone, it is Sacred Saiyan here, welcoming you back to another video. So today, we're going to be doing the third part of my origin series, what if Sacred Saiyan was in Dragon Ball. You guys loved the last video, and if you end up liking today's video, then please consider subscribing. It is free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, if you want to join my Discord server, then there is a link to that in the description of the video. You can talk to me and my community, grind for roles, hang out, and if you put your art in the Art Text channel, and 10 people react to it with a star, it will get featured at the end of a video. With all of that out of the way, let's get into today's episode of... What if Sacred Saiyan was in Dragon Ball? So in the last video, we covered the Saiyan Saga and the Namek Saga. We saw Vegeta and Nappa joining forces with Sacred and friends to take on a newly powered up Frieza. And even with Frieza getting another power boost from the Time Traveler few, Frieza was still nothing compared to Sacred and died in a single attack. We now skip years into the future and we head to a laboratory inside of the mountains. Inside of this laboratory, we find Dr. Jiro finishing his greatest invention, Cell. Dr. Jiro has been watching Sacred ever since he arrived on Earth and killed Demon King Piccolo with a single blow. And Jiro has had tiny robots following Sacred ever since, and taking the DNA from every warrior Sacred comes across. This would include people like Sacred, Gohan, Raditz, Vegeta, Nappa, Kami, Frieza, and even few. Not only would this make an incomprehensibly strong warrior, but it also wouldn't add to Sacred's potential. You may wonder why that is. Well, it is because when Cell was first created, he had no potential. The DNA and potential of the fighters were added to Cell after his creation. You may also wonder where Android 17 and 18 are. Well, Jero decides to never make them. It would be impossible for a regular Android to reach Sacred's power which is why he focused all of his attention on his bio-android Cell. Meaning not only would Cell be released when the androids are in canon, but he would also already have his perfect form, seeing as Cell had Jero's full attention. Cell is released, and Jero welcomes his creation to the world, saying that Cell's prime objective is to kill Sacred. Cell smirks, saying that he will kill Sacred, but on his own terms. Cell then kills Jiro, and he flies out of the lab, then blowing it up. On Kami's lookout, Sacred is training the other Saiyans when he senses Cell's immense power. The other sense Cell's energy shortly after, and they all look to Sacred, asking what the plan is. Sacred says nobody here has the power to take this threat down other than himself and Gohan. They will need to go alone. Raditz tries to argue with Sacred, saying that himself, Vegeta and Nappa can help. But then Cell telepathically talks to the fighters, telling Sacred and Gohan to come to their home alone. They don't want him to go have a word with Chi Chi now do they? Gohan is furious that Cell just threatened his mother, and he instantly powers up into Super Saiyan 2, and then he flies to his home. Sacred follows shortly after, and then, both Sacred and Gohan arrive, coming face to face with Cell. Cell smiles, seeing the two Saiyans arrive, and he greets them, stating that he is Cell, the perfect being. And he is the only being to surpass the Sacred Saiyan. Sacred says that Cell's power is remarkable, but it is nothing compared to his own. Cell laughs, asking if Sacred really thinks he is at full power right now. Cell isn't even using a fraction of his power. Sacred smiles, clicking his knuckles, but then Gohan stands in front of him, saying he will kill Cell himself. Cell smirks, saying that he supposes he could do with a warm-up. He has never tested his power before. The battle between Perfect Cell and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan begins. They seem to be evenly matched at first, but it is pretty obvious Cell isn't even trying. Sacred isn't sure why Gohan isn't using Super Saiyan God or above, but whatever the reason is, it could get him killed. The battle between Cell and Gohan continues, Gohan getting mercilessly beaten. Sacred decides to step in, smacking Cell away, and he tells Gohan to let him handle this. Cell smiles, saying the main event can finally begin. But Sacred says enough games. Cell will die here and now. Cell mockingly asks if Sacred is going to use the same transformation that Gohan did. But Sacred says no. He will use a form unique to himself. Stronger than Super Saiyan 2. Sacred begins to power up. First transforming into a Super Saiyan 2. 
but then he begins to go even further beyond. Though, he isn't transforming into a Super Saiyan 3, he is transforming into a form called Super Saiyan Evolution. Sacred rushes at Cell, and Cell is astonished at Sacred's power. Sacred is far stronger than their drones calculated. Sacred and Cell clash fists and trade blows. Every time Sacred attacks Cell, Cell counters, and any time Cell attacks, Sacred does the same. Cell and Sacred keep exerting more and more power, with their entire timeline shaking with each strike. Cell asks if this is all Sacred can do, but Sacred says he isn't even trying. Silk smirks, saying he hasn't started trying either, however it seems they have an unwanted spectator. Sacred looks into the sky, and he sees Few there, interrupting a battle once again. Sacred asks Few what he's doing here, and Few says he is simply watching the battle of the century. And since Silk does have his own DNA as well, it is interesting to watch. Sil laughs, saying if Few even thinks for a moment that his DNA adds anything substantial to him whatsoever, then he is sorely mistaken. Few says he didn't even imply that, but Cell shouldn't disrespect his elders like that. Cell is only a couple hours old after all. Few then snaps his fingers, and Sacred looks to Cell, but nothing happens. Cell laughs, asking if Few really thought he could control him. Well that is just hilarious. If he wants to use that little trick on someone, then he should go find the child of Demon King Piccolo. He is weak enough to be controlled by such puny things. Few is surprised that Cell could resist his control with such ease, but he regains his composure, and he says fine, he will leave. He thanks Cell for the advice, and he then teleports away. Cell asks Sacred if they should continue their battle, and Sacred agrees, so that is exactly what they do. Sacred and Cell continue their battle for a short time, but then the two warriors decide they end this once and for all. The two power up to their maximum, and they begin to charge Kamehameha's. The two fire their beams and they clash with amazing intensity. Cell at full power is overpowering Sacred in Super Saiyan Evolution, so Sacred knows he will have to transform once again to win the beam struggle. Sacred quickly transforms into Super Saiyan God, and his beam begins to easily overpower Cell's. Sacred's beam then engulfs Cell, seemingly leaving nothing remaining. Sacred powers down to base form, and then Raditz flies over to Sacred. He was watching his battle with Cell from afar. Gohan also walks over to Sacred, and the trio begin to celebrate. However, when their guard is down, Cell re-emerges, and utters the word, Hakai. Raditz begins to scream in pain, and he is erased from existence in front of Sacred and Gohan's eyes. Gohan begins to cry, and Sacred screams no, transforming back into Super Saiyan God and rushing at Cell, trying to land a punch on his face. Cell catches a punch, smirking, and he then smacks Sacred away. It is like Cell said before, he is the only being to surpass the Sacred Saiyan. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick, and easy to do. With all of that out of the way, I hope to see you all in the next episode of... What if Sacred Saiyan was in Dragon Ball?